and welcome to Brian Brain's National Curriculum. This is the quiz that the entire family can take part in, enjoy and hopefully learn something from. OK, here we go. My name is Brian Brain. And if you haven't played before, don't worry, you'll soon get the hang of it. You might even want to create a prize for the winner or the winners if you decide to play as a team. Let's see if you younger budding brains can beat the adults, the boffs. You see, for every budding brain question for you kids, there's a harder boff question for the adults that'll follow. So, doesn't matter what your age is, everybody has an equal chance. The most important thing, though, is just to have some fun and build that brain power of yours. Now, did you know that your brain works like your muscles? The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Today's subject is maths for Year 4, and we've mixed all the topics up for you. For each question you get right, award yourselves a point. It's as simple as that. Don't forget to keep score as you go along, so you might want to get a pen and some paper before you start. Here's a bit of getting ready time. Running brains, let's start with a little underwater adventure. An aquarium houses seven families of seahorses. Each family has six seahorses in it. How many seahorses are there in total? Here's your thinking time. So, seven families of seahorses, and each family has six seahorses in it. How many are there in total? And your time is up. Did you get the answer? It's 42. The calculation you needed to do here was 6 times 7. Have you practiced your 6 and 7 times tables? Did you know that seahorses prefer to swim in pairs with their tails linked together? Oh, how sweet. Boffs, a supermarket ordered 15 crates of bacon. In each crate, there are 15 packets of bacon. How many packets of bacon did the supermarket receive? Here's your thinking time. So the supermarket has 15 crates of bacon, and there are 15 packets in each one. How many are there all together? And time's up. The answer is 225. 15 15s are 225. And did you know that about 95% of those pigs are raised on industrial farms? Hmm. Budding brains. Shirley bought a Mars bar for 50p, a Milky Way for 30p, and a Twix for 60p. How much did she spend in total? Have a little think. Mars bar for 50p, a Milky Way for 30p, and a Twix for 60p. How much in total? Time is up. The answer is £1.40. Or 140 pence. 50 plus 30 plus 60 is 140. And when we convert it into pounds and pence, it becomes one pound 40. Remember, a pound is the same as 100 pence. Buffs. Sean went to a car boot sale and sold a chair for 55 pounds, a lamp for 7 pounds, and a coffee maker for 40 pounds. How much did he make? Here's your thinking time. 
He sold a chair for £55, a lamp for £7 and a coffee maker for £40. How much did he make? Pretty easy, really. And the altar is a hundred and two pounds. I'm sure you got that one. Budding Brains, question number three for you. What is the decimal equivalent to a half? Bonus points if you can express it as a percentage as well. Here's your thinking time. What's the decimal equivalent to a half? Well, time's up. Quite a toughie, maybe. The decimal equivalent is 0.5 or 0 0.5. And the percentage is 50%. Bobs, what is the decimal equivalent to an eighth? Ha, off you go. What is the decimal equivalent to an eighth, sir? Your time is up, and the answer is 0 0.125 or 0.125. There are eight 0.125s in one, the whole number one. Budding brains, a herd of African elephants travelled 2.7 kilometres in search of water. How far is that in metres? Here's your thinking time. So the elephants travel 2.7 kilometers to find water. How far is 2.7 kilometers in meters? And your time is up, and the answer is 2,700. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer, so you multiply 2.7 by 1,000 to get 2,700. And did you know that the reason that elephants have large, thin ears is to help regulate their temperature? There you go. Bobs, the same herd of elephants traveled an additional 2.46 kilometers in search of food. How many meters did they travel in total, including the water trip? Here's your thinking time. So the same herd of elephants traveled an extra 2.46 kilometers on top of the 2.7. How far was that in total? In meters. The answer is 5,160 metres. Budding brains, what name can be given to any four-sided shape? Have a think about that one. What name can be given to any four-sided shape? And your time is up. The answer is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral. Squares and rectangles are both types of quadrilateral. Boffs, an acute angle is an angle which is less than how many degrees? Thinking time starts now. An acute angle is an angle which is less than how many degrees?
And your time's up. Well, the answer is it's got to be less than 90 degrees to be an acute angle. Budding brains, describe a scalene triangle. Whoa, that's a toughie. Off you go. Describe a scalene triangle. What?